I'm Dr. Michelle Lee, a board-certified ophthalmologist and cataract surgeon. A cataract is a cloudy lens inside the eye that we will all get over time. When your level of vision or your quality of vision is unacceptable to you, you will consider a surgery called cataract surgery, where an eye surgeon removes the cloudy lens inside the eye and puts a clear lens to replace it. One of the most important decisions you will have to make after deciding to go forward with cataract surgery is which lens to put in the eye. This is a really difficult decision because you only get one shot at cataract surgery. And with so many options and so many lens options out there, how do you pick the best lens and the best focal point for your eye? Do you set your focal point for both eyes to see well at distance, meaning that you will need to wear reading glasses? Or do you elect to try monovision where we set one eye for distance, one eye for computer or reading vision. What happens if after surgery you don't like your refractive choices? Are you stuck with the lens that you chose forever? Unfortunately, with most traditional lenses, even the premium lenses like multifocal and toric lenses, once the lens is implanted in your eye, most eye surgeons would discourage you from removing the lens and replacing it with a different lens. And that's because there are risks involved in doing a lens exchange that may result in permanent vision loss and damage to your eye. What if I told you that there is a lens that could be put in your eye and then adjusted to your liking after surgery? Well, we do have that. The light adjustable lens, otherwise known as LAL, allows changes to the power of the lens after surgery so that you can customize your refractive results. This lens is one of the most exciting technologies in our field of cataract surgery and one that I'm really excited to offer in my practice. The light adjustable lens works due to principles of biochemistry. Embedded in this lens are molecules that are light sensitive and when light is directed to specific areas within this lens, there is a highly predictable change in lens curvature. So this means there can be adjustments to the lens power even after surgery. If you are someone who is extremely motivated to get a near perfect power of lens inside your eye, this might be the lens for you. I also love offering this lens to patients who have had refractive surgery such as LASIK, PRK, and RK because our lens calculations can be a little bit off and having a light adjustable lens can give us that room to adjust the lens if we're off with our calculations. As a cornea specialist, I also see a lot of cornea patients in my practice. So patients with irregular corneas sometimes can benefit from having a light adjustable lens where there is a more predictable way to adjust the lens power. This is also a really great lens for someone who is indecisive about monovision, which is a popular option where one eye is set for distance and one eye is set for computer or reading. So you can see how you tolerate this in a real world setting and see if monovision is something that fits in your lifestyle and that you want to make permanent. There are certain contraindications to having a light adjustable lens. It is very important that if your eye surgeon says that you are not a candidate for this type of lens, to heed their advice. If you are on any medications that increase sensitivity to UV light, you should not get this lens. This includes medications such as tetracycline, Zoralens, amiodarone, phenothiazine, chloroquine, hydroxychloroquine, paroxicam, gitadafen, and methoxylin. Also medications that are toxic to the retina, for example, a common breast cancer chemotherapy medication called tamoxifen is also a contraindication to this lens. You should also not get this lens if you have certain eye conditions such as macular disease or a history of a herpetic corneal infection since the UV treatment can actually activate herpetic infections in the eye. You also need to make sure your pupil dilates well at least six millimeters. Treatments require that your pupils are at least six millimeters dilated. If your goal after cataract surgery is to see a wide range of vision, this is not necessarily the lens that you want to use to achieve that range. Instead, you might want to talk to your provider about a lens called a multifocal lens, which allows distance, intermediate, and near vision with each eye. Cataract surgery in itself does have a small amount of risk, and there are additional issues you need to consider with the light adjustable lens. In the FDA study, 
there was a 1.7% complication rate and complications unique to the light adjustable lens was activation of a herpetic infection on the cornea, which is why if you have a history of a herpetic infection on the cornea, this lens is absolutely contraindicated. There is also a risk of accidental UV exposure, which may accidentally change the lens power or inadvertently lock the lens before it's time. Because of this, after your cataract surgery with a light adjustable lens, you're going to need to be extra careful, wear UV protection when you're outside so that this does not happen to you. There are also distinct advantages to the light adjustable lens. The main advantage and the main reason to pick this lens is the ability to customize your refractive outcomes. With the light adjustable lens, you have a much higher chance of achieving 20-20 vision after surgery compared to traditional lenses. There is an advantage of the lens itself. The lens uses a photosensitive silicon material that is actually less prone to glare and halos at night. If you are interested in getting a light adjustable lens, please note that not every surgeon or surgery center offers this technology. So if you think you are a good candidate for a light adjustable lens, ask your surgeon if this technology is available to you. This is also considered a premium lens, which in the United States means that while insurance will pay for the cost of the cataract surgery, your insurance will not cover the cost of the lens as well as the cost of the work that goes into the treatment after the surgery. So there will be an additional out-of-pocket expense for this technology. You will also need to exercise some patience with this process. With the light adjustable lens, you will need anywhere from two to four treatments. And each treatment is spaced one to two weeks apart to allow you time to adjust to the new power. In total, it can take up to six weeks, sometimes even longer, to achieve your results. Offering really cool and new technology like light adjustable lenses is what makes our job and our field so exciting. I hope this was a helpful introduction to light adjustable lenses. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.